Hey guys, Major K here. Just wanted to show you real quick how I did the um, Dangerous Woman Tour requirement for no abilities used. Uh, spoiler alert. Well, I'll just tell you right now. Basically, you can use uh, magic as well. Uh, you can use healing magic, which is what I did. You can use limit bursts and auto attacks, of course. So I brought a team. Uh, actually, it's pretty much just my main team. Let me find a knock this here. I'm sure he has Excalibur on. Yes. So I equipped as many holy element weapons as I could. Uh, the Cecil has a uh, holy lance. Lunith is the only one that doesn't have a holy element weapon because the next best thing I have is the Randall, and I don't want to give up like the 50% passives that he gets from uh, Katana and from the uh, regular sword. So I'll just leave him as is, and then these two Noctuses have Excaliburs as well. So I'm just going to chain as much as I can, elemental chaining, to get as much damage as I can from auto attacks, and I'm going to use Refia to heal up. Um, and so that's pretty much it. It's really not rocket science. Although it was really hard when I thought I couldn't use magic. Oh shoot. <laughs> I don't know why I just clicked that. I thought I couldn't use magic, so... It was really hard the first time I did it. Uh, I actually used items and everything to kind of like keep my health up, but in the end, I mean, if you can bring a Refia and just, you know, do Kiraja every turn, it's really not a big deal. Um, actually, what I'm not sure about is whether you can use dual cast, if somebody can confirm that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if that counts as an ability because it's kind of like a separate thing, but obviously you can't use things like Warp Break because that's an ability right there. Um, the rest is just auto-attacking. Kind of interesting that they brought this event back, but it's actually pretty cool because uh, I think up to mid-game mid, mid players will really appreciate the Ariana because she was already a good mage for newer players. Uh, she came with a lot of good um, proprietary gear and all that stuff, and some decent spells, some good bard abilities. But now they're giving her dual cast, which makes her, you know, on par with a lot of other mages. I mean, not on the level of gacha mages, but I mean, for a free character, she's very solid. Um, especially if you're able to kind of put like a dual wield on her. Ooh, whoa, what just happened with my macro there? So yeah, if there's ever like upcoming content that has like, you know, you need to chain a bunch of mage spells together, she's probably going to make it into my party. If not for her um, slow ballad, which will boost magic by I think 60%, it's a really good boost. But even like two Dark Venus, two x Deaths, and then um, Ariana, it's pretty decent mage chaining going on right there if you use like the Naga. And having dual casts on her is just going to make her that much more viable. Pretty cool for free stuff. I always like free stuff. And while I'm not a Ariana fan, really, um, I think the song that she used for this uh, remix for this game is pretty cool. So, kind of nice to hear it again. Yeah, not this takes forever to get this limit for stuff. That's like. It's an awesome limit burst, arguably the best in the game, but it just takes forever, so. This is pretty much the strategy. I probably don't need to do this, but I'll just go ahead and do this for the extra boost. Um, and I'll just kill her off right here. And that's about it. That's how the how you get the uh, five percent trust mogul. Now I wasn't able to make a video on this because I was sick, as I mentioned. Um, I might do a proper video on it in the future, but I think the information is kind of already out there. 
There's an excellent post on Reddit actually, which I'll link in the description that kind of goes through all the um, new ability awakenings. For um, on my end, the only one that I'm really, really interested in is Mercedes. I think her awakenings are amazing. And I think these are what people were calling enhancements before, but I am basically farming her TM now because I want to have her axe and she's going to be probably like the second best or third best finisher in the game now. Um, they're going to buff up her axe mastery, giving her a crazy passive when she equips an axe. They give her a nice war cry boost where she can buff the party's attack by a lot. Um, and of course her sea god's chop is her single like big hit. That's what you want in a finishing move. You want like, you know, like a big hit that you can put at the end of a chain. And she's going to get like a really big buff to that instead of like a 2.7 multiplier with a 25% uh, debuff to water resistance, I think. It's going to go all the way up to 350 or um, 3.5 multiplier with a 75% debuff to water resistance. So it's going to be really good. Um, she's going to be in my main team for sure. Um, it's just going to be a really awesome finishing move um, to my, you know, jerry-rigged chaining with my two Noctises. So she's going to be in my main party soon once I get her all geared up and TM'd out. Really excited about that. It actually kind of makes me not so sad that I wasn't able to get Frivia. I actually pulled a couple times, um, like on my phone off camera. I wasn't able to get her. I got some ticket pulls on her that wasn't able to get her. Uh, so I'm just going to give up because I had so many um, Frivia's Needle Trust Moguls. Like, I had like 40 of them. So I was like, this is kind of a waste if I don't pull the character again, which is what they were probably planning to entice you to pull. But I wasn't able to get her, so I'm going to move on now and get Mercedes in my party. And if I'm lucky enough to get Titus in the future, or Titus, um, although he is a base 5 star, that I think he'll synergize really well with her as well. Um, so, yeah, anyway, that's my plan for the Awakenings. It's actually really hard to farm up the materials that you need, and um, I'm not even close. Like, yeah, I'm not even close. I haven't really done it yet. But then again, I've been doing the um, Easter events, but I finally farmed up enough Trust Moguls to um, max out my um, investment of mind, TM. So I have that on my Refia. I have the other robes on my Dark Fina's now, so I'm happy about that. So I'll probably go start farming that material now. If there's a better way to farm it other than, um, what is it? Chamber of Gems, please let me know. But it looks like the only way to really farm it right now. Anyway, that's my little update and my little quote unquote guide for the um, Ariana update. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, let me know what Awakenings you're excited about. Lightning has some pretty decent ones, but of course I don't have Lightning. Uh, they are expensive though, um, and it doesn't turn her into like a top tier character, but it definitely improves her in a much needed way. And if you have Olive and Lightning, that debuff is going to help a lot as well. So anyway, um, see you guys next time.